Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see the supports and the applied aspect of the rectum. So the most important support is the pelvic diaphragm for the rectum. So here you can able to see this is the pelvic diaphragm which is extending from the either side of the pelvic wall and guards the rectum in the position. So this pelvic diaphragm mainly contributed by the levator anime muscle which is the important support of the rectum which prevents the rectum from the prolapse. The next important structure is the valdeus fascia. This is nothing but the condensed pelvic fascia in between the rectum and the sacrum and coccyx. Okay, in between these two, this condensed fascia is known as valdeus fascia, which supports it from posterior aspect to prevent the prolapse of rectum. Then the fascia of Denon villus. So this is the fascia located in between the just in front of the rectum. Okay, in case of male, this is located in between the urinary bladder, prostate, seminal vesicle and the rectum. In case of females, there will be uterus in between and the vaginal canal. So it will be located in between the vaginal wall and the posterior fornix. Okay, so this is the fascia of Denon villus. Mainly, mainly it extends from the recto uterine or recto vesicle pouch to the perineal body just in front of the anal canal. Okay, so in between these thing, this thickened fascia is known as fascia of Denon villus. Then the other support is the lateral ligament of the rectum. So this is the rectum, anterior, posterior and these sides are lateral. Okay, so posteriorly here we are having the sacrum. So in front of the sacrum, this is the medial, median sacral ligament. On the either side, on the either side of the rectum, this condensed fascia forms the lateral rectal ligament which will be attaching to the sacrum and the pyriformis muscle. Okay, so within this lateral rectal ligament, you will be having the middle rectal vessels. Okay, within the substance, you will be having the middle rectal vessels. The next support to the rectum is the pelvic peritoneum. This peritoneal reflection we have already covered in the anatomy of rectum. So go through it. Then the next important structure is the perineal body. I have already introduced the location of the perineal body which is located just in front of the rectal opening okay so which is the tenderness part of the urogenital diaphragm which provides some mechanical support to the rectum and which also connects the fascia of denon villus which also provides the support to the rectum and for the completion sake the fatty tissue and the fascia surrounding the rectum also supporting that includes the fatty tissue of the ischiorectal fossa or ischioanal fossa and the uh, pelvic fascia surrounding the rectum and the urogenital diaphragm this one helping the rectum to keep in the its original position so if there is any deviation in this support to the rectum it leads to the rectal prolapse.
in the beginning there may be a partial thickness or otherwise known as only the mucosal prolapse okay so the mucosal layer in between them will be getting prolapsed later on if there is further more weakness of this support mainly the pelvic diaphragm it leads to prolapse of the entire thickness including the muscular layer that is known as the full thickness prolapse or prosidensia so this is different from the hemorrhoid in the hemorrhoid mainly the internal and external venous plexus enlarge it and it will be coming out of the anal opening but here the whole rectum is coming out thank you